everyone, my name is Miss Joni, and I want to share with you something that I learned about in the Bible. You know, our world is full of a lot of stuff that can make us afraid or make us worry. Have you ever been worried about something? Or maybe you've been afraid about something going on? I know I have. But there's a story in the Bible that can help us not to be so afraid or so worried. In the book of Matthew, we read about Jesus and his disciples. And one day Jesus was teaching the people and he told his disciples to go down and get in this boat and go across the lake and that he would follow them later on. Well, when the disciples got into the boat and went across the lake, this huge wind came up. Wow, that was scary. But something scared them even more. They saw Jesus walking on the water. They thought he was a ghost. But Jesus told them, don't be afraid. Do you know why? Because Jesus was with them. The disciples learned that Jesus' love was what they needed to help them not be afraid anymore. So what kind of things make you scary or afraid? Maybe it's a test that you're going to have not sure what's going to happen or maybe you worry about your mom or dad getting sick or maybe you're watching the news and you see something happen in a town somewhere and you're thinking oh it might happen here or maybe there's people you're listening to and stuff they're talking about makes you anxious and afraid you know most people try to get worried rid of their worry and fears all on their own but it doesn't really work I mean, they try to Make deep, dig, take deep breaths or calm themselves down, but it just doesn't work. It's almost impossible, if not impossible, for people to get rid of fear and worry out of their lives all, all the way. But you see these bubbles? These bubbles represent our fears. Now, if love were a color, what color would it be? Well, I chose the color red to represent love. What you can do is give God permission to scoop those bubbles out. So, instead of praying, God help me not to be afraid, or God help me not to worry, you can tell God, God, I'm sorry that I haven't trusted you enough to care for me. Will you show me how much you love me? Will you fill me up with your love? And then you know what God does? He starts to pour His love in us. To where it's overflowing and knowing that He loves and cares about us so much, it just pushes out all the fear and worry. And once God fills you up with His love, you don't want it to stop. You want to be filled all the way to the very, very top, every minute of the day. Feel to the top so fear and worry, worry don't sneak in anymore. Remember what these bubbles represented? What made it worse? Well, figure out those things that make you afraid and then try to stay away from them, like scary TV shows or movies or books. Or stay away from people that are always making you focus on bad things. Remember what got the bubbles out? Push them out. God's love. So spend time with people who focus on good things. Read books or watch shows that have to deal with good and awesome things. But most of all, you need to talk to God. Tell Him about what you're afraid of. Tell Him about what you're worried about because He's there for you. And His love is going to flow so much into your life that will help you push those things out. All those fears and all those worries. Doing those things will help you focus on His love. And once those bubbles of worry and fear are out, you're going to feel peace and calm. Just like what the disciples did. Just like what the disciples discovered. I hope I can meet with you again next time and share some other awesome things about Jesus. Bye now.